Hi, my name is Dr. Ilan Lieberman. I'm the Medical Director of Levitex. I'm still working as a doctor and currently I'm working in intensive care as part of the team looking after COVID-19 patients. This is a short video about self-proning. It covers the best way to prone and why this may be of benefit for you. Firstly, why prone? Well, to prone is a fancy medical term for lying on your front. Patients with bad pneumonias on ventilators spend a long time lying on their backs. When this happens, the fluid in their lungs tends to pool at the back of their lungs. And the air that they breathe in tends not to mix well with the blood flowing through the lungs. This is because of pooling of fluid and the collapse of lung tissue it causes. Think about it like this. Your chest is like a pint glass with your lung tissue and the air spaces like a sponge filling the glass. If that tissue becomes soggy with infection, the blood flows poorly through it and the oxygen from the air you breathe in doesn't get to be transferred efficiently into the blood flowing through your chest. So if you're lying on your back, the lung tissue that's towards the back of your chest as you're lying down gets soggy with infection and inflammation. And this causes a problem as the oxygen transferred to the blood can be dramatically reduced. Ultimately in COVID or any other lung infection or injury, the patient tires of breathing and becomes exhausted with the effort to keep the blood sufficiently oxygenated. And the only way to treat this is to put the patient on a mechanical ventilator to support their breathing. For many reasons, this is a last resort as being on a mechanical ventilator can often damage the lungs of the patient. Lung tissue is delicate, we need to look after it. The one way you can do that if you have a COVID infection affecting your breathing is to deliberately self prone before you go into hospital and whilst you're at home. This is a perfectly safe thing to do. Proning can affect the areas of sogginess of the lung tissue and can open up collapsed airways. It changes the areas of the lung that have mismatches in how the much blood is flowing to them compared to how much oxygen is reaching that space. In patients that respond to proning, the effect is almost instant. This is why in part it's worth trying if you're struggling with breathlessness at home. The key to proning is to support the chest and pelvis with firm pillows and leave the tummy free to move in and out as you breathe. If you don't do that whilst you are breathless, you can start to feel rather suffocated. Levitex pillows are great for proning, which is why we've been using them on the intensive care unit, as they are firm but comfortable and designed to avoid creating uncomfortable pressure areas. So the key step is to have your tummy free to breathe in and out with your chest and pelvis supported. You can see this from the next video. If when you prone, you feel worse, then you must roll over and lie on your back. Proning doesn't help everyone, but it is certainly a good step to try if you're struggling with breathlessness at home.